Hi, today I'm going to uh, demo to you um, use of Presto um, by running some queries at the command line uh, showing um, a particular uh, web interface tool called AirPal as well as um, showing our Presto admin management tool. So here I've uh, connected to the Presto CLI uh, to a special catalog called TPCH. Um, you can see when you run the show catalogs command, there are several catalogs, Hive, System, PostgreSQL, and TPCH. Uh, running uh, show schemas, we'll see that um, there's a bunch of schemas for um, this particular um, catalog. And then showing tables, of course, is the standard TPCH um, data set. So we'll just run a quick query from Nation. And when I say this is special, it's because this data doesn't live anywhere. It's actually generated on the fly. Um, so again, here's uh, count star from line item, just to count the number of rows in line item. Um, so as Presto is a query engine, uh, there's special connectors to connect to different data sets, um, Hive, uh, Postgres, and so on. Um, and this one is just a special connector that doesn't connect anywhere. It just, it just generates from the TPCH data set. So here's query one of the TPCH um, benchmark set. Um, and you'll see that um, we have some status that was output, and then finally the uh, results. And this is just selecting some aggregations and <coughs> filtering from line item. Um, next, um, I'll just show an explain plan for Q6, um, and we'll just see how on the table scan uh, scanning from this TPCH um, special connector. <coughs> and then we'll run um, uh, Q16, and in here, um, just showing uh, some joins, aggregations, filtering, and uh, a subquery. Um, and there's a bunch of uh, results here. I just quit out of it because there's a lot of results. Um, Presto also has a, a, a nice um, web interface to kind of see the current queries running as well as the past queries. And clicking on one of them, you can see the details, such as the full query, as well as um, any of the, <coughs> the details, the stages, and uh, other uh, metrics about the query. Um, <coughs> next, I'll demonstrate a uh, tool called AirPal. Um, now, this is an open source tool uh, for the Presto community, originally uh, developed and open source by Airbnb and is widely used there. It's basically just a very simple um, web-driven uh, tool for running uh, SQL queries. So um, here I am querying from uh, the nation table and running query you see it's finished. Um, again we'll uh, run the same query before is from line item. Made a mistake there. I didn't specify the schema. But that was expected. Um, all right. You can also save these queries. So if you want to use them later, I can just call this one count line item. You can see um, save queries, and I can rerun them if I want or or delete them. Here I chose to rerun one, and it runs. Um, one drawback to this tool is uh, you can't see the results in the, um, the web UI. You have to download a CSV file, um, which is fine. Uh, possible improvement for the tool uh, community. <clears throat> so that's enough of that. Uh, now I want to demonstrate querying data um, from Hadoop, uh, data that's in HDFS. Um, before, I was, again, I was showing you uh, just querying that special connection.
you know, I'll show tables to show that the TPCH um, tables as well as that table batting, which comes from the baseball data set. So we'll just do a um, count star on, on batting. Again, this is using um, a Hive, so it's, it's notably slower than, than Presto. Um, uh, this is not Hive on test, this is uh, Hive on MapReduce. <coughs> so it's going to take a, a few seconds to get the query uh, going because this is a aggregate, there's um, uh, some processing that has to done in MapReduce, in some MapReduce jobs. Um, so this returned 95,000 rows. It's so which just um, just wanted to show that that data can be accessed in Hive. Um, <coughs> but um, this time we're going to connect to Presto, and again using the catalog Hive. So since Presto is a query engine, again um, you can get multiple uh, data sources connectors. I use the uh, Hive catalog. <coughs> you can see that I can see the tables in here as it before with Hive, but uh, I can query count star from batting, and I got the ninety-five thousand rows. Um, so if your if your um, tables already exist in Hive, they they'll appear in Presto with not, no configure not much configuration. Um, here, I'm just going to run some interactive queries. In this particular case, I'm um, uh, doing aggregate on the runs and grouping by <coughs> year. That's a lot of results. So what I'm going to do is just going to take the last um, ten years. Uh, so order by year descending, limit 10. And just to show how you can kind of just interactively explore the data um, in Hadoop, I chose the first 50 years here. <clears throat> you can see it's very interactive. Um, and again, this data is all in uh, Hadoop. So let's do something a little bit more interesting. Uh, I want to show um, how one can um, uh, query between uh, different data sources. So I'm going to show querying between Postgres and a Hadoop in the same query. So this um, query I just ran in particular um, is basically join backing. Uh, it's the self join uh, of um, in order to get the player ID uh, for the aggregation. So when you run the aggregation that's in the subquery, um, uh, you, you lose information. So if you want to get additional information about the table, you have to self-join. It's, it's a typical technique uh, to do. <clears throat> so I've gotten the player ID uh, for this aggregate query. And um, what I want to do is actually get the player name uh, via a lookup table in Postgres. Um, but first, we'll go into Postgres and just kind of show you that these tables exist in Postgres. Um, we have just a junk table just for demonstration purposes, and then this master table, which is basically a lookup. It's, it's a, uh, a lookup table, basically a fact table. <coughs> um, so I've connected um, again to uh, to the Hive catalog. Um, and when you do special dash dash catalog Hive, that just says that's what you're referring to as the default catalog. You can actually query uh, any catalog as long as you fully qualify it, as I did here, postgres.public.junk. Um, so we can see that I was able to get the, um, the, uh, the metadata and query from it as we did in Postgres. Um, the query gets pushed down to Postgres, results come back, and, and stream through into Presto. So now we're going to run the same query as before, <clears throat> but in addition, I'm going to join the Postgres table master um, uh, to join those two tables together. So I have to fully qualify it um, since my default catalog here is Hive. So Postgres up. Poster is the catalog, public is the schema, and master is the table. And I'm going to join on the player IDs. All right, so we, we joined there. So let's um, let's describe. Oops, let's, we want to describe um, the master table actually.
So you'll see here's a bunch of uh, information. I'm interested in the name last, the last name. <clears throat> so instead of player ID, um, I want to change this to uh, the player's last name. Uh, oops, uh, meant to write um, name last. <clears throat> Fix that. And now you can see that we actually got the player's name from the lookup table in Postgres uh, uh, joined against data in Hadoop. Um, so let's do some more querying. Let's, let's actually now order this by um, <coughs> year and then by the last name. And by the runs, just, just so we can look at it nicer. So. Here we are, data join between Hadoop and um, Postgres relational database. So the next thing I want to do is show a tool developed by <coughs> Teradata to help with installation and management of Presto. Uh, uh, without it, a lot of uh, things are manual steps or you have to write script to do, but make it very simple with Presto Admin. We can do things from collect logs to deploy configuration to add and remove connectors uh, to install um, the Presto and other um, packages, as well as just, just manage the services. And what this tool does is it can um, work on a cluster of machines. So if you want to install um, software on across a set of machines, it's just one command. So here I ran service status to show uh, that there are four nodes. Um, the IP, it has the IPs, the roles, worker, coordinator, um, the version of Presto and the connectors. Um, so now I'm just going to show how you can manage connectors. So since we have Postgres installed, it's just easier if I remove the connector. <coughs> and um, we successfully removed it, but uh, it requires a server restart. Uh, here I'm just going to stop it, um, really, so I can just run the server uh, status command again to show uh, you all what it looks like when Presto is not running. Um, you can see that um, it does know the roles of the, the, um, the nodes, but nothing's running. So now we'll start it back up, <clears throat> and just to show that the connector is now removed from the system. It takes a couple seconds. And again, without this tool, uh, you'd have to log into every node and stop and start the Presto um, uh, command. So we've made this really easy by this tool um, taking care of that for you. And here you can see that the Postgres connector is removed and just the Hive system and TPCH connector remains. <coughs> um, another, uh, finally I'll just show you how you can uninstall the software. Since it's already installed, we'll just show you how to uninstall it. Basically this goes out to every node and um, removes it for you, stops it. <coughs> so now let's look at the status. Um, and you'll see that the software is not installed. Presto.